Just before 6 a.m. and all eyes are, are here on a potentially record devastating flood in the hill country. Lake Marble Falls is a river this morning as the Highland Lakes are trying to pass all this water downstream from Llano River through Lake LBJ, through Lake Marble Falls, and eventually into Lake Travis. River flood warnings continue for the Llano River right now through Mason County, through Llano County, and then this is what happens with the Llano River. It dumps into Lake into Lake LBJ right here. At this level, numerous homes and businesses are already flooding. Uh, the Llano County Emergency Manager is telling us that they have evacuations and rescues ongoing. Look right here, take a look over here, Julie. You can see RVs pulling out right now. This, I'm telling you, this is right next to the Kingsland Slab RV Park. Look at that. That's a haunting sight, guys. That is what, the oh, third, is a... third unoccupied boat now that we've seen. The rain keeps redeveloping along some type of boundary. The cold front at the surface, yeah. let's imagine the atmosphere is a deep yeah, thing. There's a boat that's trying to get let's under. Let's go back live. Let's take Candy's picture. And there's a jet ski. Is that a jet that. ski? I don't yeah. know. There's a boat, but it just barely made it under that bridge. Hey, look at this. Another boat. Oh, no. Severely damaged. Look at that. It looks like the top of the boat, the tower, the wakeboard tower has been sheared off of this. We right. also have video of that boat that we just talked about, the one going, going over Starkey Dam. Dam. Let's watch that boat go over Starkey Dam a few minutes ago. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Right below me, you're looking at the rooftop right there of the River City Grill. Look at the water. Look at the whirlpools that are forming on the edge of Lake Marble Falls. Travis, up six feet today. That's since midnight. That's 182 Olympic-sized swimming pools every minute. These are all in Granite Shoals and all areas in which local officials are asking you to evacuate. Is this a deck from uh, Let's get in on that we're about deck to see here. A deck. Yeah, we're about to see a deck go over the go and over the dam. This is obviously somebody's lakefront property. the back property. of a house maybe, yeah. Our house next to us uh, is about five feet below us and, and the water is uh, up to their porch. I woke up early this morning. My intuition told me to get up, but I didn't, okay? My son called me, and by the time he called me, it was too late already. The water's already receded in over the boat slip. I see the smoke, and I asked the gentleman, I said, hey, what is, what is that? And he told me, he's like, oh, that's uh, it's a structure fire, and firefighters can't get to it because of the high water on the road. And because the home that was on fire was surrounded by floodwaters yeah. on all sides, the fire department couldn't get to it. The 2900 bridge has collapsed, which is in Llano County, uh, but uh, it has collapsed. That bridge completely washed away. Now we also know again, 1431 is shut down. Some of this bridge this is, is now bridge going down the Llano River. A few minutes ago, floating down Lake LBJ. There it is right there. Devastating flooding has forced hundreds from their homes in the Texas Hill Country. Rain has caused the Llano River to rise, creating the second worst flooding in history. 11.8 inches in southeast Mason County, 11.4, 11.6 in western Llano County. Drone video of the water rushing past the Highway 71 bridge in Llano. Emergency crews closed down the bridge as water rose just a few feet below the deck. And take a look at this video right here. Just a great example of the river's power. This is Starkey Dam. From the air showing the water inside homes along Lake Marble Falls, evacuation orders remain in effect there for selected areas. Video shows homes being flooded in Kingsland. This one comes in to us from Tracy Smith through our report it at KXAN.com. Keep those videos and pictures coming. Across town, first responders use military grade vehicles to bring supplies to the Meadow Lakes and Pecan Valley communities. Both are cut off and surrounded by water. City leaders tell me anywhere between 75 and 85 homes are flooded here in Marble Falls. At the moment, I'm standing on what should be a driveway that you would take normally to get to these houses over here. People were evacuating, and at the same time, a deer was actually trying to get out of the water. DPS hopped in boats, rescuing people from their homes. Today, our cameras were rolling as a woman was being escorted to safety in Kingsland. A tough, tough day for many people. Many of our friends and viewers. And this rescue, a student and a driver saved from a bus floating away in rising floodwaters. We spoke to the boy's mother and she told us he was in hysterics. He called her and while it was all happening, told her he thought he was going to die. I heard, help, help me. And I was real faint and I was like, 
Did I just hear that? Another person with them spotted the man. He was he was out about where that, that's our dock that was over here, and now it's just out there, but it was about that far away. It was emotional, but uh, he made it.